It's Harry with Structural Termite and Pest Control. We're doing a honey removal here up in its uh, second story roof void. First we had to remove a portion of the tile roof. Uh, located the honey. Now we're just uh, cutting out some of the tar paper. Getting ready to cut the plywood out to, uh, to get to the honey. We're gonna pop this one open here, see what kind of honey we got. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. Well, at least we're in the right spot. We're going to have to take a little bit more of the roof off. Looks like the honey goes up quite a bit further. So we're going to have to take a few more tile and cut a little more plywood out. All right, this is Sean, one of our crewmen. Got the honeycomb out here. Got a nice big chunk there, kind of zoom in here. All right, I just got to go up there and get the rest out. It looks like uh, we were able to get the rest of the honey out. Got it bagged up right here. Uh, we probably got approximately, I say, 50 pounds of honeycomb out of there. Uh, the reason it's important to get that honey out is uh, once the bees are gone, they're no longer in there fanning that honey, keeping it cool. So what'll happen on a nice hot summer day, you know, it gets up to 100 degrees down here. We're in Chino Hills, California. Uh, that honey's going to, uh, without the bees in there fanning that honey, keeping it cool, uh, that, that honey and honeycomb is going to start to melt and, uh, and drip. And it can, you know, drip right through the ceiling below. And plus, you, you'll have the smell of rotting honey. So it's always important to get the honey out. And another reason, if you don't get the honey out, it's real likely the bees are going to be attracted uh, back to that same area again. You're just going to have another problem with the bees. So that's very important to, to do the honey removal. So now we just have to get in here and clean this out real good, treat the area with a sealer, uh, tuck some new insulation in there, put a new piece of plywood in, tar paper, Put the tile back and uh, we're good to go.